Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing a very cool design like you see on my screen. This is what we are going to create in Canva. So if this is what you want to create in Canva, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva. The first thing I am going to do is to click on create a design and I will just search for Instagram. Okay, so you can also search for Instagram. But if you want to use a different dimension, you can always and always and always feel free to do that. Okay, so um, we just have to wait for our canvas to load up, then we can get started. Alright, so now that everything is loaded up, the first thing we have to do is to come into photos, okay? And in photos, I am going to search for mountain, okay? So I just type mountain here, okay, and press enter so that you can be able to search, okay? And we have various um, options over here. So depending on the mountain you want to use, you can just, you know, feel free and um, browse through to find the perfect one you want to use so with all the images i've been searching for this is the one that i think caught my eye and even though i tried designing this initially um this wasn't the image i used but i think with this time I, this is what this is the one that you know is actually catching my eye so i would increase the size of it okay and i will duplicate it so what we are going to do is to remove the background of this image and if you are on the free version of canva what you can do is you can use remove.bg or you can use stickermu.com slash trees okay now after you do that um you can just do that and import your image back into canva but we on the pro version of canva um we just have to click on edit image and select background remover so now that we've been able to remove the background we just have to place it okay directly on top of the original image then what we do next is we come to um text okay so just come to text and you only have to click on add a heading okay so i click on that and i will just move this to the top and i'm just going to type praises okay so p r a i s e s okay and i don't like this font so i come over here i click on this um, section where it just helps me to change my font and i'm going to choose a champion gothic font so this font was imported in canva and um you can use fonts like Bebas and you can use fonts like Anton. All of these work perfectly, okay? They are the same display font, okay? or they fall under the same category, okay? So, I would trim, okay, my text and I will make it bigger. All right. Then once we do that, we just have to position it to the center and maybe increase it more. So, this is what we have at the moment then we still having your text selected come to position and select backward and backward okay and so you can see instead of taking the image behind the removed version of our image we have rather taken it way 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 behind so i just crop the removed version of my image and with the original one i select you know i just select send to back so we have this at the moment okay so now that we have this we will change the color of our image and all of that but for the moment what we are going to do is to come into uploads and this is to say that every element okay or every special element i would be using in this design can be found in the link in the description box below so just go there find the it's a google um drive link so once you go there you'd find all the special element i am using for free okay so yeah i will select this ribbon over here and um, it should come inside my canva or oh, let me just click okay so then i rotate it to something like this or i can also rotate it to something like this so in this case you know you should just feel free and rotate it how you want to use it okay so i just increase the size and i can just position it also here okay and maybe let it come here a little bit nice one okay so i bring it to the top and um, this is what you know or this is how everything is looking right now so maybe let me do this i select all of this okay and i move it to the top a little bit so that we can have more room over here 
all right all right so now that we have this we would actually want to hide the um you know this section of our image so i would make this one bigger than more and i can also rotate it okay okay so i can rotate it to something like this okay so that the ribbon gets to um hide okay so i guess to hide you know this section of our image but you can see it's not done completely it's not fully done yet so what we have to do is we have to now think of how we can do this perfectly and if we were supposed to be using photoshop or any other software it would have been very easy to do this but since it's canva we just have to improvise okay so to do this i press r on my keyboard okay for rectangle then i come to the colors and in colors we are just going to pick colors from here so you can see canva has done that beautifully for us so i can choose any of these colors okay then i rotate it according to the style of the ribbon then i position it here and move it okay somewhere here then i just duplicate it okay and i bring it here all right okay i bring it here then i duplicate it again and bring it here then i select all of my shapes and pressing alt okay not alt sorry press and hold shift and click on the ribbon okay so that we deselect it then we group okay so we group all of these um shapes we have okay so i want everything to get covered okay all the white areas to get covered nice one now that we have done that we click on the shape okay and press ctrl and click again so that you can click on the ribbon then we come to position and bring the ribbon to front oh it looks like we rather brought the image to the front so we rather undo and we would select the ribbon so try to select the ribbon okay so i think this is the ribbon and i have to bring it to the front okay so this is what we have at the moment okay so then i move it up a little bit okay so this is what we have been able to do right now okay so um what else can we do maybe i can select all of this okay then i move it to the top you understand so you can see how beautifully this is looking and i think my ribbon is looking blurry so i select my ribbon come to edit image and over there we just have to come to the adjust section so click on c or and um, we come to the blurriness then we reduce it to somewhere like negative uh 10. okay just to make it sharper nice one so now we would want to change the color of this okay so i click on this come to colors and i want to select a color from the ribbon so you can see we have several colors but i think i'll choose this then i will crop my text and increase the size of my text okay and i just bring my text down okay so click and bring your text down fantastic okay so now that we have this what we are going to do is to add a second g font so i press t on my keyboard okay and it's still selected on champion gothic but i'm going to change it to montserrat okay so to do this i just have to search for montserrat here Okay, so Montserrat, and um, I will use the Montserrat Classic for this one. Okay, so since it's a mountain, I just want to say Mountain of Praises. So M O U N T A I N of Praises. Okay, then I increase the size of this, and I can okay position it here. Then I press Alt okay and drag it this way nice one then we have the mountain up so i select or come to spacing in spacing we are only going to increase the letter spacing so i increase the letter spacing okay to something like this and this is what we have at the moment so i can maybe reduce the font size more okay so that we have something like this all right all right so now that we have this i think it's looking beautiful at the moment so I am going to add some lights okay so i have this light here it's also you can find it down in the description box okay so um i increase the size of this okay and i 
crop it okay to something like this then i would send it backward you understand so this is how we have it right now then what we can do is we can reduce the transparency of this okay so you just have to reduce the transparency to somewhere like 53 okay then we have this beautiful dabs we you know just select them and position them where you want to position them so i click on this one also and i will reduce the size and maybe position it some somewhere here i think yeah it's cool then we would want to add some extra information so to do this i press t on my keyboard okay and um you can see because we use the letter spacing it's also giving it i'm uh, um, giving it to us by default so i come to the spacing and i choose zero for the letter spacing okay then i position it down here then i just select and see pasta so p a s t o r select or come to the font the typeface section and i'll just choose Brittany b r i t t a n y so Brittany select it and would also change the color to white okay yeah so this is what we have and we position it here then we would want to add you know um the name of the pastor or you know whoever is going to preach and with this you can you know just customize it how you want it okay so i come here and i will search for montserrat and this time around i'm going to use the extra bold okay or i can just simply stick to um the champion gothic font i use just in case you want to stay consistent or maybe let's do that so that we can just stay consistent okay yeah so that it wouldn't be like i'm not practicing what i preach you get it yeah so i decrease the size and um let's say he's called paul okay so pastor paul reduce the size and okay we have it here then bring it down a little bit and i'll send it backwards so that the pasta can come on top so pasta pour and um maybe to add his same name we can use okay we can use this one the montserrat font okay so to select anything that's behind a particular element you press ctrl and you click so you're able to select it then i duplicate and bring it to the bottom here so maybe pasta pour brown okay to select or come to the spacing letter spacing zero all right all right then i decrease it okay and i position it somewhere yeah so you can see what we are doing it's beautiful so in order to be able um, to make sure i'm not moving things around i'll select this and i would group it I would lock it not to group it okay yeah so that when i select um the the text over here it's able to i'm able to move it around so okay so i select select and select and i can move it to the top then i press l for line okay then i rotate it to something like this 90 degrees okay and i would reduce the size of it or the length of it not the size the length okay so it should be 90 degrees then i position it somewhere here but it's too short so i will just increase it more then i change the color to white okay then the next thing we want to have is the day okay the venue you know the day for the event okay so i can just say sunday s-u-n-d-a-y okay in nigeria i hear the you know the mention sunday something like that <laughs> sunday and i duplicate and move it here i'm from ghana just in case you're wondering i'm from ghana not nigeria yeah from my accent you can even tell yeah so um it's going to be the time would be 9 30 a.m okay then maybe i add gmt okay 
yeah that's my time zone just in case you're wondering why i'm adding gmt so if you are from um the us or something like that yours should be est and um if you are in china they're about is pst pacific time or so i don't know if i'm correct but i just yeah i think that's correct okay so you can see what i'm doing just trying to make sure everything is aligned perfectly so i use my arrow key you know just to make sure everything is aligned perfectly then i would um this you know the date for the service i think it would be held on 21st yeah 21st st and i trim it okay so 21st and um october i believe and this is not a real event it's just you know something we are creating so don't don't think it's a real event okay so october all right all right so then i can just see service on okay so i bring this to the top and i see service no let me make it all caps because everything i'm doing here is caps service on okay and i yeah that's what i would do then i would reduce the size something like this nice one then to be able to um center all of this you know this is what i want to do first of all let's do this let's ungroup sorry unlock this first okay the ribbon then we select the ribbon plus the um the shapes okay and make sure you are deselecting any extra element at the top here then we lock them okay so in this case if we are to select everything here you could you know you can just select and center it so this is what we have and i think with the brown the same name i would use white okay and this would also be white and this would also be white so you can see what we have been able to create here so you can also add your logo okay at the top i just don't want to add the logo um i just don't know why i don't feel like but yeah you can add your logo at the top just make sure you're positioning it nicely and maybe at the bottom we can say something like come and be blessed so we can duplicate um this the service of oh, service then we can bring it to the bottom okay then duplicate all and just say select all and i say come and be blessed all right all right no it shouldn't be bigger it should be smaller but just yeah then i come to position and i center it so this is what we have at the moment and i hope you have really enjoyed this so let me just uh, make it bigger for you to see what we have been able to create yeah i think this is looking very beautiful and uh, it's looking very sweet yeah i like it so this is what we have been able to create in canva and i hope you found this tutorial helpful just in case uh, you want more tutorials like this subscribe to this channel you can also like this video share to other canva designers who want to be able to um, upgrade their canva skills and yes the name is benjamin and i would see you in my next video